Cardiobites. What is amyloidosis? Amyloidosis is the term used to describe a group of uncommon, serious disorders caused by accumulation of abnormal, insoluble amyloid fibrils in the organs, systems, or tissues of the body. Amyloid fibrils are protein polymers with structures dominated by beta-pleated sheets. The amyloid fibril deposits are usually extracellular. However, they may also exist within the macrophages and plasma cells. The progressive buildup of these amyloid deposits can lead to organ dysfunction and subsequent failure of the affected organ or system. There are several different types of amyloidosis, and these types are classified based on their precursor protein. While any organ or tissue in the body may be affected by many of these amyloid types, cardiac amyloidosis is characterized by the extracellular deposition of amyloid proteins in the cardiac tissue. Cardiac amyloidosis patients often present with heart failure with a preserved ejection fraction or a restrictive cardiomyopathy. In these patients, reduced left ventricular and diastolic volume can result in a low stroke volume and decreased cardiac output despite having a preserved ejection fraction. Cardiac amyloidosis is a progressive disorder that may occur as part of a systemic disease or as a localized phenomenon. There are two types of amyloidosis that commonly present with cardiac complications. They are immunoglobulin light chain amyloidosis and transthyretin amyloidosis. In summary, amyloidosis is a rare disorder caused by the accumulation of amyloid fibrils that can affect any part of the body. There are two types of amyloidosis that commonly present with cardiac complications. They are immunoglobulin light chain amyloidosis, or AL, and transthyretin amyloidosis, also known as ATTR. Cardiac amyloidosis patients often experience a delay in diagnosis or even misdiagnosis, both of which result in a delay in the initiation of appropriate treatment. Understanding the different types of amyloidosis is the first step in early diagnosis of this disease in providing optimal care for these patients. Thank you for tuning in to this edition of CardioBytes, brought to you by the Heart Failure Society of America. Support for this program was provided by an independent grant from Alnylam Pharmaceuticals. My name is Justin Groden, and I'm an amyloid and heart failure specialist. In Module 2, we will discuss what are the signs and symptoms of amyloidosis. Please complete this short evaluation to help us identify more programs that may be of interest to you.